Jamin, Jamin, Jamin. <laughs> Here we are in beautiful Midway. It is on wonderful, quaint Main Street. And we're here because we have heard mm -hmm. that Midway's got a dining vibe that has sprung up out of Midway Mercantile. Uh, absolutely, like this building alone is so cool oh. and I can't wait to hear about what uh, the three co-owners, John, Pablo and Sandra, um, thought of for this vision. Plus we gotta taste some food, right? Oh, Jane, we gotta get some food. I hear they're making cocktails out of kombucha. Should we get tasting? Yeah, let's definitely get tasting. Pablo, hey. hi. Nice to see you. So good to meet you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are thrilled to be up here in Midway. It's always a beautiful drive. Thank we you. hear this was a, a combination of three different minds. So there's three of us, uh, Sandra, John, and me, Pablo. And John is the executive chef as well. Oh. Ah. So I think you're really interested in going back to the kitchen. We would love it. John, it's so great to be back in this working, happening, busy kitchen, and you're about to get busy with us, right? Uh, I've always wanted to be able to have fresh pasta in a restaurant. We oh. had a restaurant in Seattle for 17 years, but this time we really decided to go for it. And uh, the only thing that was really interesting was that you have to adjust your pasta recipe to yeah. the altitude and to the dryer. Oh, yeah. yeah. But uh, we're really happy with what we've come up with. Oh, and, gorgeous. Uh, so while often we make fettuccine, mm -hmm. uh, tonight what we're doing is some agnolote. Which are, so we're going to put goat cheese from Drake Family Farm oh, nice. and some tarragon from our friend Chris over at uh, Rustling Aspen Farm. Oh, and uh, so we use the double zero flour. Love it. Ah. Um, and what's great is that we end up with dough that is simultaneously very silky. Mm -hmm but surprisingly strong. This is a goat cheese, a Drake Family Farm goat cheese. You got it? And tarragon. And tarragon, yep. Beautiful. When you squeeze the two sides, yeah. what you have is a little pillow. Quick, a little oil in this pan. Yum. This is a very quick dish to make. Nice. Oh, beautiful garlic. A little okay. bit of garlic. We'll put the pancetta in there. Mm -hmm. These guys. You're, the water. you're going for a swim, little buddies. A little bit of wine. Ooh. Okay, just a white cooking wine. Yep. Yeah, nice. A little bit of stock. Oh, nice. So we're working our way toward oh, look at you. our sauce. Nice handful of that. A little butter. Butter makes everything better, doesn't it? <laughs> we love a chef who tastes his food. Oh, absolutely. Right. Oh. So that's ready. There's your little pillows. Oh, they're gorgeous. Go there. Chef, this is a this is a seasonal special that you just cooked up based off the ingredients that you got from Chris. Exactly right. That's so we did it last night, so we're doing inspiring. it tonight, we'll probably do it tomorrow night. Yeah. Chef John, thank you so much for just preparing this beautiful dish for us, which I think we should grab right now while you make a few more dishes for us. Thank That's you. Good, yeah. Chef John, it, it was such a pleasure to be in the kitchen with you, um, where I know you you do it best, but also to sit with a fellow co-owner, Sandra. Who is also my wife. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that. Well, would the two of you walk us through this beautiful spread that we have in front of us? So, um, you saw me make the agnolotti. Yes. Yeah. And uh, now it's just waiting for us to eat, which is great. Oh. So we're open uh, Monday through Friday for lunch and dinner. So we open at 11.30 and go through dinner. So this is one of the items from our lunch menu. It's an avocado toast. Oh. And we decided to kind of play with that concept. But we put a, a little thin layer of uh, salmon lox oh. from the Northwest, where no, we come like from, it. on top. We also do brunch on the weekends oh. yes. at 9 a.m. And lunch as well, brunch and lunch till 4. Uh, this is our crab benedict. This is Dungeness crab uh, cake. It's got some uh, tasso ham on top, and then the poached eggs and the hollandaise and our camp potatoes. So. Yum! Oh, it's uh, and I have here, which I'm, I will promise I'll share, our pork tenderloin, <laughs> which was on our menu in Seattle. Uh, it's on a bed of beautiful pasta tossed in a balsamic sauce, the spinach aioli on top, mm. and it's also these two are our top sellers. Um, I'm definitely sharing. Same. Okay. Yeah, we got you know, food and beef yeah. all over the place. <laughs> we, just, we, we can't suffer. Now tell us a little bit about what brought you to Utah. We'd been visiting here to ski with our friends for years, and, mm -hmm. and every time we came down, we would always intend to 
to head back out for dinner. And by the time you get hunkered in after a nice day of skiing, you don't really want to drive 20 minutes or 30 minutes to go have right. dinner. And one time we, we visited and we had a, a wonderful conversation and great fun over um, some wine and talking about what would happen if this town had kind of a more mid-scale restaurant where you could go at, out and have some wine and have a beautiful meal. Yes. So the building became available and we thought, oh my gosh, we should you know, pop down there and see if we can make this go. And the building is, I mean, we are, we just feel so grateful to have been stewards of being able to restore such a gorgeous old building and yes. bring it back to life. And people, people from the community really come in and they're, they're just so grateful that we're using the building and that people can come enjoy it. And we're delighted to be here. So it's not easy to own a restaurant. But when you're passionate and when you're doing it for all the right reasons, there's no denying it in the flavor of the food. And, and you are infusing it with love, with care, and with community, which is just, it, it makes our hearts happy. It makes our taste buds dance and sing, so. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Nice That's of you such to uh, come and check us out, really. It Appreciate is just, it. Here's the good news, we will be back. All right. <laughs> okay, exactly. so, thank you. Exactly.